What is the concept of this movie and what makes it such a fun take? Oh boy. Oh, that's a good one. Um, so the way we've been describing it is it's kind of Groundhog's Day meets Scream. Um, it's about Tree, a college student who's a little narcissistic, a little, little. A, a pretty narcissistic, <laughs> pretty self-centered, who is stuck reliving the day of her murder over and over again until she finds out who the killer is. Um, and she also has the opportunity to learn a few life lessons along the way. Talk about the fact that it's coming out on Friday the 13th. It kind of falls in line with the movie. That's fun. Yeah. I, I, we got, uh, I don't know, got really lucky on the date there. Yeah. Uh, it's the fact that it's horror, thriller, it's, I don't know, it's just perfect all the way around. I also think it's going to be a great date movie um, because it's so fun and funny but also scary. So girls and boys can grab the arm of their date and kind of hide behind and get a little snuggle time in. So I think, I think it's a good Friday night movie. The movie keeps the audience guessing on who the killer is. How does it manage to do that? Oh, all right, you're going to have to watch to figure that out. But I think Chris did a, a really good job piecing together this movie. And just even with Scott and the script, but also in the editing room. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's because the world is so developed and all of the characters are so fleshed out um, that it keeps you guessing all the time. And I also think they do an incredible job not letting the audience get ahead of Tree, our heroine. They're kind of learning and growing and figuring things out alongside of her. And as a result, hopefully the murderer will be a surprise. And Tree also has a long list of enemies. Yes. Which helps. <laughs> yes. Tree is not the nicest person at the beginning of the film. Maybe someone you'd want to go drinking with, but not necessarily your like, sole confidant that you would pour out all of your secrets to. Uh, the empowerment scene is probably my favorite in the whole movie. Talk about that. How fun was it? It was the best. Um, I So I've never gotten to do a... Are you talking about the naked walk? All of it, but All definitely it. the naked. Like the naked walk just caps it off. But the no naked one realizes totally there's no consequences. When there are no it. consequences, I think it's really fun because everyone always dreams about what that would be like. And the naked walk in particular, I was really lucky to have such an incredible cast and crew around, and all of the women in the crew during shooting that scene would stand around me with their jackets up, shielding me from... And it was a cold day, It too. was a really cold day, but they were standing up, kind of like protecting me, and then right before they would yell action, everyone would chant my name, and I'd dance in the middle of the circle, and then when they said action, they would disperse, and I would <laughs> saunter and do my walk, and then they would converge on me at the end, so it was one of the most empowering things I've ever done. Uh, if you w were tree, if you could relive the same day over and over again with no consequences, what is like the one thing that you would do? Um, all right, so we, we just immediately go to break the law, which I think yeah. is the obvious thing. She had a very vivid, scenic... Uh, it's still a really fast car. Drive it up the PCH, get in a cop chase, drive it over a cliff, and eat cake after at the same time. After a very, very good, uh, you know, fully covered police chase. Of course. I'm talking about... Yeah, we want, and I need cameras yeah, everywhere. Multiple helicopters. It's, it needs to be a show. Hi, it's Valer here with a bonus behind the scenes movie fact for you. In the movie, The Shawshank Redemption, remember the scene where the character Brooks uh, feeds uh, his crow a maggot? Well, the American Humane Association objected to the scene and stated it was cruel to the maggot. And uh, it required that the crow be fed a maggot that had died from natural causes. Yeah. Okay, now, uh, before I go, remember, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Bye-bye.